Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who not only created us, but loves us and shows us how life is supposed to be so that we can find peace and hope and joy and love in this life and in the world and in heaven to come. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Luke chapter 6, starting at verse 46. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? I will show you what he is like who comes to me and hears my words and puts them into practice. He's like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. You know, as I hear these words this morning, I'm reminded of the fact that those of us who know God, who know Jesus, who are hearing the word of God, have been entrusted with his word. And we've been given his, his, uh, his ways, his precepts, his ideas, and we're expected to use them, more so even than someone who has not heard the word. Of course, uh, in our church, we believe in, in what's called prevenient grace. It's the grace kind of that goes before we understand, uh, a grace that reaches out to, to, to mankind, if you will. Certainly, we, we expect it with, with babies or young kids who aren't old enough to understand, but sometimes it can also go out to mankind who've never heard the word of God, who, who don't know what sin is all about and, and how to live their life. This word is for those who hear and either do what God tells us to do or don't do it. And it's very clear that if we hear the word of God, if we know who God is, if we instead choose to build our lives and, and make the foundation of our lives on worldly things, if you will, then it's going to come crashing down. On the other hand, if we build our lives on God's precepts, on God's foundations, on God's word, uh, the world cannot come against it. It may try, and, the, and certainly the waves come for every person. Uh, have no doubt. We all know that if you live long enough, you're going to go through bad things, uh, whether they're, they're your own making or whether someone else is making. Uh, evil is prevailing in this world and bad things happen. Um, but when that comes against us, if our foundation is built on God and he's, his precepts, then our lives can withstand it. Our hearts can, can with, with overtake it. Our, our lives can still find joy and peace and happiness in the midst of these type of struggles. Why? Because we're built upon the only one, the true one, God himself uh, and his son, Jesus Christ, and of course, the Holy Spirit, all part of the Godhead. You see, it's this idea, it's this precept, if you will, of who God is and what God has done for us that keeps us strong. Today, I want to encourage you as you think about God and you think about your life and what God has done for you to, to hold on to that and to build upon that foundation. The world wants us to build upon uh, financial foundations, uh, financial security, our jobs, uh, things, uh, possessions, all things that will pass away. I, I guess it, probably as I get older, it seems like I'm reminded even more and more that, that life is passing by and these things go away. And these things that were once important, uh, even in my own life, as far as uh, working hard, which I still do, of course, but, but the ideas behind it, those things are gone. And the day will come when basically... Our, our names will be no more. And unless we've done something extraordinary great in the eyes of the world, no one will remember us. But what will be remembered is our hearts and the love we poured into God's kingdom and, and the places we served and how we served and how that benefited God's kingdom. Those are the things that matter. Those are what we need to focus on. So I want to encourage you today. I know we all have things to do. Uh, certain things are important. Certainly we, we want to you know, do our jobs and, and grocery shop or whatever needs to be done. But let's do it in the name of God. Let's do it built on a foundation of his love. Let's love people wherever we go. And let's encourage them to find out about Christ. What an awesome God we serve that he gives us these opportunities to love people in the midst of life. Let's use them to our advantage. Let's use them to, to, for the advance of his kingdom uh, so that he can be praised. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the awesome opportunities we have to praise you this day, to serve you in our jobs, in our lives, uh, and, and whatever we have going on. Father, we just pray as we serve you today that your heart would come forth, that your love would pour out uh, from us to other people, and our lives would be changed. Not because of who we are, but because of who you are in us. Father, may we become less and you become more so that people would be drawn to your kingdom, that they would hear the word, and they too would start building the foundation of their life on your words and your precepts. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. Father, please be with those today who are hurting. Father, whether that's a mental issue that they have, an addiction, 
or just mental problems, Father, would you heal their minds? Father, for those who have physical problems, would you touch their bodies and give them strength? For those, Lord, who are struggling um, in other ways, whether it's finances or, or really in, with spiritual matters, Father, would you open up their hearts and would you provide for them as only you can? Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do for all people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. God wants to bless you today. He wants to use you today. I want you to plan to be used of him right now. Praise God for that. Have a great day. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow.